What's up everybody? I'm Simon Sabro and today we're going to be doing a tier list for a bunch of just Shonen Jump cancelled manga. So before we get into that, be sure to follow me on Instagram at SimonSabroYT. Link will always be down in the description. Also be sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit that bell so you never miss an upload, all of that good stuff. Also make sure you comment down maybe what's a cancelled manga that you really enjoyed or one that you felt should have been cancelled or anything like that whatsoever. But with all that out of the way, let's just jump right into it. All right, so we got about, like, I think it was like a good 20 series to get through, whatever, whatever. But we just gonna go through them, talk about it, blah, 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 whatever. <laughs> so the first one, I kind of want to start with, I kind of want to save this one for a little bit later because that's like the newest series. Um, and if you've looked at the list, you can see that like a couple of them aren't actually like canceled. But we'll start out, um, we'll start with Ruri Dragon. So Ruri Dragon is one... I think it's like six, eight chapters, something like that. And it wasn't really canceled, just that the mangaka went on hiatus for a really long time. Like they're still on hiatus now and they moved it to a different magazine. So honestly, kind of putting it on the list is kind of cheating, like I said, because it's not really canceled. Um, but I did really, really enjoy it. I would put it in, well, honestly, I'd put it at in highest potential. Um, and just to kind of explain the tiers, so highest potential is, you know, as it says, highest potential, A, B, C, and I can see why it was canceled. That, that's the bottom tier. Um, but Ruri Dragon was honestly really good. It was a very unique story, and it was just a casual slice of life, but it was like a breath of fresh air. So for those who don't know, it's about our main character, who is basically part dragon, and as she's kind of just growing up through adolescence, she's kind of dealing with um, kind of transforming into a dragon like as days go by and trying to figure out like how to maneuver with that part of her life as well as finding more out about like her backstory and her dad who is the dragon, uh, the parent dragon that she has. It's really interesting. Like I said, I think it's probably like six chapters. I don't think it got past 10, but it was really good for... Um, the time that it was coming out and honestly i would love to see it like you know actually continue eventually um next one we'll go with jinka and luna so this one isn't canceled yet a lot of these on the list aren't really canceled like i said like jinka and luna is still ongoing um i put it on the list because it's a newer shonen jump so it's like at risk of being canceled i don't know how well it's doing in terms of sales or performance or anything like that but because it is newer, it's still at risk of being canceled. I don't think it's past 50 chapters yet. Honestly, if it does get canceled, like I, I can definitely see why it would. Me personally, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I'm gonna put it in C tier. It is about this magician duo trying to get the body part or the body bag of the snowman guy you see here. That's pretty much the whole story. I will say that I'm personally not the biggest fan of um, fantasy. So like magic and stuff like that doesn't really interest me. So that might, you know, play a part. I did enjoy it for the time I was reading it. I haven't read like the most recent couple of chapters. I kind of just stopped keeping up with it. But for the time that I was reading it, it wasn't really that bad. Um, just not really anything I would like, you know, oh my God, it got canceled. You know, it's like, eh. It got canceled kind of thing uh we'll go with demon bride story and i'm also gonna put this in c tier but ahead of jinka and luna um demon bride story and i think these both came out like the same day or like the week after each other something like that um demon bride story i have been keeping up with and it's in like this kind of soul society arc <laughs> kind of arc for it where the main uh heroine kind of got canceled not canceled i'm sorry <laughs> kind of got captured and basically now the main team and friend group is like going to the demon world to try and save her and i kind of feel like it's probably about to end there um i don't know if it's like maybe that's just the ending of this arc or the start of a brand new arc or if that's just how the series is going to end but to me it kind of feels like it's just going to end here um i can kind of see why the characters were actually a lot of fun. Like, the cast in it is pretty fun. Um, but 
apart from that, I'm not really the biggest fan of it. Uh, the pacing isn't really anything interesting. You know, it, go read these of your own as well, like if you haven't read them. And if you have, comment down how you felt about some of these because I'm curious on like maybe I don't enjoy it, but I know someone else out there does. Next one we will go with is Candy Flurry. Candy Flurry, I'd actually put in like B tier. It was actually very good and a very unique idea. Um, so basically it was like a battle royale, but everybody's powers was candy. Um, I can't really explain it any better than that. It was, it's been canceled for a while now and I kind of forgot a lot of, um, stuff for it, but the art in it was actually really, really good. I'm not going to lie. And it was honestly just a really fun premise. Like I, I don't really see why it was canceled. I'll be very honest. I think it was really good. Um, it did have some potential with it, but it, I don't know. I, I don't work at Shonen Jump, you know? Um, another one that got canceled, I think this was around the same time, was Nero. I'm also, I'm going to put Nero in A tier, actually. I think Nero was really good. Um, the full title is Nero, Way of the Martial Artist, something like that. It was actually pretty good, I'm not going to lie. Um, focused mainly on like hand to hand combat, martial arts, of course. Um, the art style in it flowed really well. And it was honestly really good. I don't really understand why it was canceled <laughs> i'll be very honest um another one red hood i don't think i really even need to speak about this one um hunters guild red hood really briefly for those who don't know this is a manga that's by one of the creator of my hero academia's assistants made this manga um honestly it was amazing and funny enough it got a physical um copy here in america and that usually doesn't happen with canceled manga so very strange i think in the case of red hood specifically and another one on this list maybe two more on this list it performed a lot better here in the us at least or probably just other places from japan but it just didn't do well in japan but it did well everywhere else i think that was the main reason red hood got canceled and another one that got canceled for pretty much the same reason that I'm not seeing on this list. Oddly enough, but it would be Phantom Seer. Um, I'll probably go back later and kind of put it in and then put um, Phantom Seer. It would be in highest potential. I'm not sure why it's not on the list. It was like the first one I put in, uh, funny enough. But Phantom Seer would also be highest potential. It was amazing. The art. The characters, the setting, the power system, everything about Phantom Seer was just top tier. Um, honestly, I would have put Phantom Seer like above Ruri Dragon, above Hunter's Guild, above all of these because Phantom Seer, it was goaded, man. Like, go read Phantom Seer if you haven't. <laughs> it's great. Next one we'll go with is, we'll, we'll go with Roboco. So, Roboco has not been canceled. Um, I think it does also have an anime. Um, this is more so like a, a bit of an inside joke, but I think Roboco should have been canceled like years ago. I don't know. Um, I personally don't really read a lot of comedy manga, um, or parody or gag, whatever type of manga it's like considered as. But every time like a manga got canceled, I would always be like, yo, it should have been Roboco instead. <laughs> I think like a lot of other manga is just a lot more enjoyable than Roboco. And on that note, we'll even put Magu-chan in the same uh, spot because they're both kind of uh, comedy, gag, parody, whatever the proper term is, manga. And like I said, for me personally, I don't really enjoy them. Um, I don't really like comedy manga. I like when there's comedy elements in manga, but just a straight comedy manga, I'm not really a fan of. But on that note, Ichigoki's Under Control is another comedy manga. And honestly, I think I'd put it like C2. It was actually pretty funny, but it got very stale like after four or five chapters. Um... Like I said, probably just not my cup of tea. Maybe some of y'all out there like strictly enjoy, you know, comedy manga. It is what it is. Just not my cup of tea personally. Doron is actually, I think I'd put it in B tier. I think it was just okay. Like it was, it was literally just okay. The art in it was really good. The main character wasn't that interesting. The um, power system was pretty interesting. Um, nothing too dynamic, nothing too flashy, but I think the art style really carried it, and that's probably the main reason I'd put it in B, because like the art in it was just that good, honestly. Um, 
not one I would really recommend going to read. I might, it'd be like bottom of B, top of C. It was, it was just okay, like I said. Super smartphone, I'm gonna put an A tier, honestly. Like, towards the, the last couple of chapters, when they would start getting rushed to finish it, they was putting out heat after heat. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Um, but Super Smartphone was actually really good. So, it was a very interesting premise where it was about like a smartphone, of course, that I don't really know how to word it without sounding corny, but it was a smartphone that had like a very high level AI intelligence and it could tell you literally everything you could ask it like I can't think of an example off the top of my head but like how many security cameras are in the area and it'll tell you you know stuff like that so it was like a, um kind of like not murder mystery but a detective manga of him the main character uh, I think his name was Q trying to kind of find the identities of the other super smartphone holders and basically either ally with them or you know antagonize them and it was really really cool that one i would definitely put in a that one was fun to read every single time uh the first couple chapters were pretty slow but honestly it started to kick up towards the end i don't know what it was and i do personally prefer sci-fi um you'll probably see that because i think the rest of these are almost all sci-fi kind of so they're they're you know where the list is going <laughs> um we'll talk about this this is the newest one um skip in motion honestly i'm gonna put it in highest potential i like only one chapter came out so it might be a bit of a stretch but honestly it was really good like i just finished reading that uh first chapter like a little bit before i started recording so it's about this guy i really don't remember his name <laughs> um but he when he was a kid he used to be like a, or he wanted to be like um uh, art animator that was that's the proper term an animator <laughs> um but basically due to circumstance he kind of gave up on that dream and was doing music instead in a band with some of his friends from school and it wasn't really going anywhere at all <laughs> like literally at all and the the tone of the manga is for the first chapter at least was actually like pretty pretty dark for a, for a shonen jump manga it was pretty dark pretty mature but basically after that he kind of gives up on music and kind of gets back into animating and it, it it really took off like the first chapter at parts i didn't know where it was going but also the art in it it's kind of it's kind of generic but there were some pages that looked really, really good. And the art does look familiar. I think they might have another, like another manga that I might have read somewhere. I'm not too familiar. I haven't checked it out personally, um, like the artist or anything. But they might have something that I'm familiar with. Not sure. Um, after that, we'll go with uh, Cypher Academy. Cypher Academy, I'll put in... Mm, Oh, this is a tough one. I'll put it in B tier above Doron. Um above Candy Flurry. But yeah, I'm gonna put it in B tier. It's actually I'm having a hard time here. Okay, there we go. It's pretty good. There are times where um especially in the recent chapters, like there were some parts that just didn't translate to English very well. Um apart from that though, I think it is very interesting. The concept is also really good. Um, I can't really imagine how it will like progress like I can't really imagine that and for that I'm actually gonna put uh, candy flurry back in front of it because for cypher Academy I, I genuinely cannot imagine like where it would go but it's also like solving mysteries or solving puzzles is the proper term um, and coding battles and a lot of stuff that I'm just not familiar with enough to where it's like for example, with um, usually like any other kind of detective series, you can kind of piece the puzzle together like in your own head before the main character comes to a conclusion or anything like that. But the puzzles in Cypher Academy are complex to a level where I, I'm not sure, maybe it's just me, but I genuinely cannot sit here and figure it out before any other character does, or at least until it's like explained a little better by somebody else. But even then, it's really hard to keep up with or at least you know feel dove into the you know the story or immersed into the story because like i said it's just kind of hard to figure it out on your own first um but it is still very enjoyable despite that 
Um, I tell C. Um, I'm gonna put in C tier at the. We'll put it below Demon Bride. I'll put I tell C here. Um, it it's very repetitive. But as far as the mysteries go, I think it is a bit more interesting than Cypher Academy because you can kind of figure it out on your own to an extent. Um, not really much to say about it. Uh, I know I'm kind of assuming that a lot of you are already familiar with these titles. Hopefully you are because I haven't been explaining all of them. Don't really want the video to go on too long. Um, Fabricant 100. This is a much newer series. Um... It's actually not bad. I think I'm gonna go with A tier on it. Um, it's actually pretty good, honestly. I think that it does have potential. I think the story is there. The the characters are also there. It's just introduced a whole new like setting, so there's more characters that's about to be introduced. Um, it's honestly pretty interesting. I do wish the main character played a much more important role in like the battles or the planning and stuff but i think that the main character given the character's age and lack of experience and the fact that he has one of the strongest characters in this you you know in the show or in the manga with him it doesn't really call for him to be as active so that's a you know a small gripe but honestly it is pretty enjoyable um i'm not too much a fan of like the way the faces are drawn but that's nothing too crazy. It is still very enjoyable. Um, a couple, honestly, the rest here are like bangers. Earth Child, I'm I'm gonna put highest potential, maybe top of A. Um, I think that the first like, cause I think it's it got canceled at like 25 chapters. So like the first 10, 15 chapters were all bangers. Easily, it was all bangers. Um. But after a while, it did start to fall off. Like, the pacing for it was really fast, like, off-rip. I think Chapter 1 had, like, five time skips in just Chapter 1. It was it was really fast-paced. It was sci-fi. I loved it. Honestly, it was such a cute story. It was a romance. It was it had sci-fi, like I said. It, it was honestly really, really good. Um, For those who don't know, it's about this one girl who's an Earth child, which is basically just uh, a human with really really special abilities um very well psychic abilities i guess would be like the proper term and then there was just this regular guy and they married had a kid and then the wife had to go on a mission to like save the earth and because of it she got trapped in space like in a asteroid something like that and so the ordinary guy spends his time raising the kid as like a single parent and then this organization comes to like take the kid away because the kid is an earth child but like basically now the ordinary guy wants to like uh, i kind of forgot all of the details honestly but he basically wants to save his wife in out of space and like bring her back and then them and the kid you know raise the family properly it's honestly really great really cute really romantic i loved it honestly i'm I, I don't want to put it in highest potential because the way it was paced, it felt like it should end at like 20 chapters. Like after they got the wife back, boom, done right there. I couldn't see the series going on anywhere after that. But I do think that it, it was definitely good where it was at. Um, Another one that's missing that I could have sworn I added was um the Ichinose family's Deadly Sins. Really quickly, that one would also go in highest potential. I, I can't believe I forgot like two of my favorite ones here being Phantoms here and Ichinose. Ichinose would go in uh, highest potential at the very front and then Phantoms here ahead of that. Um, Ichinose is extremely good. Go and read it. It's about um, this whole family that's got amnesia and they're trying to figure out what their old lives were before amnesia and it's... It is amazing. I think it's like 10, 11 chapters now. And the most recent, not most recent, but I think like two chapters ago. I'm not sure. But something happened. I'm not going to spoil it. And it it just, every time I start to think like this manga is kind of slowing down a bit. It just hits me with something else right after. Ayashimon, highest potential, easily. Top of the list, easily. I don't, I don't have to talk about it. Like, I've read um, Hell's Paradise, and I will say Hell's Paradise was definitely way better than Ayashimon. But Ayashimon, for what it was, was amazing. The character in um, Maruo was really cool. The um, I forgot her name, but the Oni girl that was with him, also really cool. The setting, like, 
demon yakuza it was cool it was just cool um not really sure why it got canceled i think um i know um yuji kaku had went on hiatus for like two weeks i think and then after that like the sales not sales but um the ratings for it went down really bad right after so i think that's probably why but it, it was it was amazing honestly um aliens area i'm also gonna put in the highest potential um it was sci-fi it had really amazing art it had a main character who had a very simple goal of just protecting his family um it kind of felt like a sci-fi bleach like that's kind of how it felt he kind of got wrapped up into this whole other not world but just kind of world something that he just wasn't aware of before with aliens and investigators and all of that he kind of got wrapped up in it without his own choice and he only stayed with it so that he could protect his family and it was honestly really good like the power system in it was cool it was just really advanced technology um especially i don't know if you could see him that well but the character up here in the top left he was just cool as hell he was really cool now this last one jiganchi or jiangshi x for one i will say that the names are in like chinese i assume and it's kind of hard to remember their names but i'm also gonna put this one in highest potential i think it is really good especially the paneling and the art like the way the fights go and the way it's paneled it feels really old school but in a way that's like refreshing um like for example the panels are like ooh, sorry i just hit the mic i hope you it didn't really sound too bad just now but the panels are like very square if that makes sense things don't go outside of the panels if that makes sense hopefully if i could remember i'll put up like a little picture and you could kind of understand it better that way but that's pretty much it for the tier list tell me how you guys feel about it is there anything you would want to change if you were making the tier list anything like that once again follow me on instagram at simon cyber yt the link will always be down in the description also be sure to leave a like subscribe hit that bell so you never miss an upload all of that good stuff also let's give a quick shout out to our channel members thank you all so much for supporting the channel i greatly appreciate it also if you're interested i do have a gaming channel if you're interested in checking that out the link for that will also be down in the description but that's all for me this is simon sabro signing out i catch you on the next one <music>